everybody, John to be good here on our way home. I got to uh in point two miles turn right. Goldie over here is panicking. She's thinking I'm lost. Off route. Recalculating. Continue one point five miles south, then turn right. Anyway, I went to see Goldie, I mean, uh, Blue, and uh, Blue's all fixed up, ready to go. In 1.2 miles, turn right. I think it's time to mute Goldie over here. I went to see Blue, I had to go get my tripod and a few things. And um, I, that was moved in a different parking spot. And I was in a hurry to give it a thorough investigation. So I just left and, uh, but I'm sure there's, I'm sure it's all done. Getting ready for Monday. On the way, our load to California. The load that I have been begging so much for over a year to keep me on it steady. My wife said that our income goes up considerably higher whenever I get to California load. And that's one of the reasons why I panicked. Still, no excuse. Oh, there goes the squeaky wheel again. Oh. <laughs> oh, can't turn off the squeaky wheel. Keeps turning and squeaking and... I guess oh, only time can make it go away. Anyhow, on the positive side is we are now just 61 miles to the house. The local time here, it is 8.20 p.m. And the temperature is 45 degrees. And don't worry, I'm all nice and dressed up. I'm all nice and warm. I got my... Uh, homemade legging and extra layer of white face fleece that my wife has which I borrow hopefully you guys can hear me quite all right Sandy wants me to make a left turn on School Road. It's not gonna happen. I don't know why. I really don't know. And I don't know if other truck drivers do it or not, but even if I know exactly where I want to go, I turn the GPS on. I don't know why, it's just like... I wonder if other truck drivers do it or not. And for example, like the, you know, the route going to California, I mean, I could certainly do without a map. I can do without the GPS. I mean, I'd rather. You know, over 20 years, I know how to get there. But for some reason, having that GPS running <laughs> just kind of puts your mind at ease, I guess. Well, for one thing, 
even if you know the route on the way from here to California, what if the road is closed? What if I had a detour or something? Or, holy smokies! Yeah, so what if what what if the road was closed or you know there was an accident and you basically had it I mean the, when the road is closed on a construction yeah you got a detour sign going all right follow detour and all that stuff but sometimes when the road is closed there is no sign Detour, especially if there's an accident or whatever, you know. Or, what if you got off the wrong exit? It's just nice having that GPS in front of you. And nice to know how far it is from here to where you're going and to what point. <laughs> It's kind of 
nice, wasn't it? I mean, it was a... <laughs> maybe I had a... Oh, I don't know if I still have the file. Maybe I ought to uh, take that video, delete the audio, and put some music in there and uh, make it look, you know, make it uplifting instead of so down and dra dragging and <laughs> so negative. And but Barbara, thank you so very much, and I am very happy and pleased to be able to share it for especially someone like you. I, I forget that there are people out there that watches my video that uh, that are not able to get out of the house. They're not as able to do physical um, activities and all that stuff. But, I don't know, just really, sometimes I, I forget about that stuff, and, and if one of you reminds me, man, it sure makes it worthwhile, you know, for people who could never come and visit to the places that I go, never can do the job that I do, and, uh, let alone for people who are disabled. It makes it worthwhile, actually. many people out there have been so supportive and so understanding it's it's incredible you know one of the things that I am guilty of is man I gotta I gotta take the time and pay attention to to the ones out there that are you know makes positive comments and been really somehow been loyal and very big fans and although although I gotta I gotta ask this question I really do <laughs> I've noticed, I've noticed that uh, a few of my videos has always, you know, there's, there's always somewhat, not all of them, but a few of my videos always have like a, a thumbs down on my videos. And the thing that makes me curious is it's always just either one you know, mostly just one. And and I'm not saying that you don't have the uh, you don't have the right or the oh you don't have the preference or the liberty to you know thumbs up or thumbs down. But the thing that gets me about this thumbs up or thumbs down is on the thumbs down it's always one so is it possible that it's just one and the same person all the time <laughs> and uh, you know I've, I've done it myself I've instead of thumbs up with somebody's video, I accidentally thumbs down on it. One of my wishes that uh, if you're gonna thumbs down on the video, yeah, 
could you at least let me know what you didn't like about it? That way I could improve the video. Um, I mean, if you're gonna thumbs down on it and not explain why, how is the video supposed to improve, right? <laughs> I just find that funny, I guess. I hope this gold wing has enough light to illuminate the highway here. Should be. Especially for a viewer like Phoenix Drake, who seems to think uh, quite well on night driving. I personally like night driving on a motorcycle too. the next town we come up to it would be uh, not, not Chilton oh huh, I can't think of the next town here near Holstein I believe so anyway don't want to drag this video too long I thought I'd uh, share this ride Share some thoughts. The squeaky wheel is, you know, sh slowly but surely feeding, uh, fading away. And I know it will get better. So, anyway, we'll catch you guys later. Johnny, be good here. Have a good and godly night. I'll be back in a short. Peace.